So yeah. how you guys doing? I'm good. Are we uh, ready to start this little guy? Uh, yeah, let me yeah. get a fresh cigarette. I already hit record, so yeah, I'll hit record. So I guess it's starting. We're starting mm-hmm. with the plague. Yeah, pretty much experts. Jesus. We're, we're talking about the plague this week. I'm uh, Black Death. The Black Death. <laughs> the uh, I'm sure there's lots of names for it. Skyler pretty much did all the research. Yeah, as usual. Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, <laughs> Robert John Patterson. I'm in Romania still. This is my brother Mike. Hello. My other brother Skyler, the secretary. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer personal assistant these days. Yeah. Um, Office manager. Before we get into it. Assistant to the stars. uh, Frontline Fiesta, thank you for the cool music. Support them on Bandcamp if you can. Support us on iTunes, YouTube, and Facebook. Yeah, those are the main ones. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was just saying to these guys uh, yesterday, pretty bad at looking at stats and junk. But I cracked open the iTunes, and mm. we're growing. It's crazy. Every week, there's like 10 new listeners, and it's just incrementally perfect up to like 100 downloads a week. Like, bam. Look at us. Yeah, shit. Sure. Next week, but... I mean, next, this time in uh, maybe January, CBC will be, you know, putting us <laughs> on the air. <laughs> yeah. Just we already got, uh, we through. got off. We got offers from a local radio station here, but they haven't listened to the podcast. So yeah, it's like, too. yeah, five minutes, five minute listen, and they're going to be withdrawing that offer for sure. But we can get one We're episode out it. of them. We'll, we can honey dick them for one. Yeah, I think just saying honey dick is enough to like. Well, mm. this is already. <laughs> FCC might That's... step in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honey cock. We don't em? need them. Can you say cock? <laughs> you can't say cock. I'm talking about the bird. Yeah. Honey yeah, bird. Yeah, okay. If you put some honey on some chicken, call it honeycock. Like honey a cock. honey rooster. Honey rooster, yeah. yeah. The Trojan uh, the Trojan um, agreement of some sort. Yeah, I mean, like, if we barely do any editing. It's not like oh, we're no. going to start doing that and force feed oh, it we down. Oh, can't, we can't not start syndicate, editing. Right? Syndicated yeah. radio shit. No, fuck that. Okay, let's hunt it. We'll we'll try a honey dick. Maybe we'll get on and they'll just take off. If they want it, they're gonna have to take it all. Yeah, yeah. Every oh. inch. You know. We'll put that in the contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No bleeps, please. Yeah. So this week we're doing so, uh we're talking about the black death. The black death. The, the bubonic. <laughs> the bubonic plague. I always like that name. It kind of sounds like something in a cartoon. It sounds sinister. Yeah, bubonic. it doesn't sound like a good time. It does, does it? not sound good. No. Like, you just hear bubonic. bubonic, and you're like, yeah, I don't want that. I feel no. like it's something you'd say after you came out of, like, a jungle concert, you know, like, oh, that was bubonic. That's, <laughs> start using Let's go bubonic. do some molly. That's bubonic. <laughs> that was bubonic. Yeah. Some drum and bass show. The sound a horn makes is bubonic. Bubonic, yeah. No, it's actually a terrible, di- terrible, terrible bacteria disease that just kills you, kills you dead. You're black. Killed lots yeah. of people. You hundreds, got like four days ish. What's the just Jason? Yeah, like just Jason. That's a big word for me. I'm not even gonna try that the third time. No. Yeah, after five margaritas, you should slow it down there. Buddy. Jimmy yeah. Buffett <laughs> afternoon here in Romania. <laughs> I think it lends to the fact that it was old and like you know England kind of kept some good stats, but like it, it seemed like every time I read a different article, it said a different number of like how many people died or how long it would take to kill mm-hmm. you, kind of thing. But one of them said it was after symptoms you had seven to ten days before you died but you could survive uh you could survive people survived the plague but it was hit or miss right like yeah i seen some 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 uh stats that said it could be you know anything from a few hours to a week you know depending i guess probably on your overall health or age yeah 
Yeah. But even like, I guess there was like three different strands of plague. And depending mm. on which strand you had, like, you know, your mor- mortality. Now, that was the other thing, mortality rate. I always thought that was like your chances of living. But mortality <laughs> rate is like how many people died, I guess. Right? Yeah, your chance, so yeah, your chances of dying. Yeah, definitely going to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so like the bubonic plague, I thought I saw had the lowest at about fifteen uh, percent yeah. mortality rate. But so then that's there the was good like one? that's like the good one, and that's the one that like you, it <laughs> it, uh, it would attack your lymph nodes, which are like your glands under your armpits and in your crotch and in, under your neck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the the bacteria would populate in that in your glands and make them swell up and get super red and pussy and gross uh and then there, the other one was like the uh the sep- septemic plague which was plague in your blood and if it got in your blood you were like 100 percent. everybody died <laughs> yeah. from that and oh, then yeah. the other the fun- phenomic fumanic either way it's new, like uh, new i think it's the new- pneumatic yeah pneumatic. yeah pneumonic or something pneumonic, pneumonic was the, the one lung. of the lungs the long yeah. lungs so that which was the only plague, apparently, that human beings could uh, give to one another because of the coughing and the sneezing. Like, Even if you oh, had yeah. the blood one, you couldn't just like yeah, spit I on people. I think the blood it. one, too. Yeah, so you would think. I, you can't. Why, don't, so why not? So right, right like, away. There's two plagues but that it, pass yeah. off. Two plagues, yeah. If you're going to bleed, bleed in someone's mouth, the odds are good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. You would think that. <laughs> Maybe not with the plague, but... Just dirty, 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 dirty disease, dirty lifestyle those people live. Yeah, well, you were talking earlier about the, uh, or you mentioned on our chat or something about the, uh, like, the plague doctors. And I looked into it and I thought, like, I, I had never, like, I'd seen, like, the image with, like, the beak and the stick and never really put yeah. it together. Yeah. I, th- I thought that was an interesting, like, having the stick to keep them at an arm's, extra arm's length. You know? Yeah, just to fucking and to poke Pretty and prod just at them, count and see if yeah. they're alive or not. That too, yeah. didn't do yeah. shit. No, they weren't real doctors. Yeah. They were no. just. I read one article about this dude that he was a fruit picker, and then when he got a job as a plague doctor, so it was like that guy has no credentials <laughs> at all. <laughs> all all the def- credentials are. All you have to do is not have the plague, and you can yeah, be exactly. <laughs> Are you healthy? Mm-hmm. But I was looking uh, into they... like uh, plague doctor stuff, and uh, the article I was reading was saying that like the mortality rate for even the doctors in quotes was like super low, like they pretty oh, much yeah. all died, even despite the like get ups or wearing. Because yeah. they yeah. had I was, no I idea that, that wasn't touching or anything it's like the goddamn fleas everywhere yeah Mm -hmm. so like the thing with the 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 plague doctors thing and this is the other thing that i i found weird is like the plague is fucking old as shit and like is always Mm -hmm. just been around like even like one of the things i read said that like 2000 bc was the first ever mention of plague that someone had wrote written down yeah. Uh, to 800 BC is where they're saying is like the origin of plague, but well, so like pestilence is one of the of years. Yeah, yeah, pestilence is like the Bible thing. Four right? horsemen, right? The four yeah. horsemen. Yeah, of them. Like, they're aware so, of like even those like original Bible writers, like the Hebrews, I guess the old Hebrew Bible. Yeah. yeah like yeah. even in yeah. that version, I think I don't know, or is the that's new revelations. My yeah, Bible true, history is all fucked. But anyway, but, like, even back then, that concept, though, plagues. of, like, a sickness just wiping out villages. Yeah. And, like, the first plague, the Justus, the Justine Plague, was in, like, 650 uh, BCE, which is, like, the common... Or, no, 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 common era is, like, whatever. This AD, AD shit, right? So mm-hmm. yeah. it was in Rome when that one went through. But so what I'm trying to say, though, is, like, Plague's been around for almost, like, a thousand years before it hit London and was called, like, the Black Plague, like, the Black Death. But the yeah. Plague Doctor, that get-up didn't actually really come around until the 1600s. So that was, Medieval like, times. thousands yeah. of years of people dying from plague, and that was the best get-up mm. they could come up with, was just, like, a long, <laughs> a long yeah. gown and 
that beak was stuffed with herbs and straw. straw. So, yeah. because they thought it was coming from bad air. Um, mm-hmm. It was like Mamima mm-hmm. or something like that. Mamisma, they were so called. Was, it was I, just like bad I saw, air. There was someone who did a study in like the 1800s and that was still something that they considered. Like before they knew it was coming from uh, rats and from the fleas on the fleas, rats, yeah. on the black rats. It was like, you know, some doctors would prescribe fresh air as like <laughs> yeah. a... A, like a way to counteract the the symptoms of the plague and, and but other people were like no you don't want fresh air like that's what's giving it to you mm. that's the problem you yeah. know too yeah. much fresh air now like when we say like fresh air like it would be hard to come by like the standards oh, of living that people the, lived the in squalor, it was filthy. For sure. the squalor the squalor yeah, yeah. The squalor, you'd have to get absolutely. up pretty high yeah, like they're just walking around in shit and piss. Their own shit and piss. Animal yeah. shit and piss. You have to tuck your mm-hmm. pants into your shoes, like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah. a problem. It's a problem. You have good pants! <laughs> <laughs> it is a problem. They would just empty their chamber pots out in the fucking... Uh, yeah. Into the streets. Oh, chamber Bob pot Barker wasn't lucky. around, so he wasn't just... telling people to spay and neuter their pets. So there was just fucking cats and dogs running around. But they were around. eating the cats and dogs too, though. It wasn't like yeah. today. Oh, yeah. But there was like, like, you know, mutts running around. Like, one of the things I saw was that they would actually, like, when they, the, by the end of it, like, in the, or like the third plague, the 1600 plague, uh, it was like. No, sorry, that was still the second one. But they would actually, like, they had protocols where it's like, oh, there's plague? All right, well, like, let's uh, uh, kill all the street animals. Like, they all have to be executed instantly. Like, no no second, because they thought that the, the bad air clung to their fur. So they had to, like, get rid of them. But they're part right. Which, they're probably flea-ridden. That's the, yeah. That's what yeah, I thought was ironic, right? It's like, oh, you were actually onto something there, but you're, yeah. like, totally wrong. But, it, yeah, yeah, no, get rid of them. And you think, think they that. would have, like, kind of looked into that or assumed that a little sooner than the 1890s, that the fleas were a contributing factor? Like, if everything yeah. had fleas and you couldn't go anywhere without eating fleas and getting mm. bit by fleas, like, you would think, that this might have something to do with it. Yeah. Didn't you have Even, fleas like, once? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I didn't get the plague. So, Dude, that's you know. good. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about that until just now when you started yelling, fleas. <laughs> fleas. Fleas. Yeah, we, we, we slept it on the fire escape for about a week. My favorite part about that it. story was Detox, the room. you and your roommate had yeah. fleas. Yeah. And I was like one room over. We're all roommates. Yeah. I did not have fleas. Thankfully. Thankfully. I remember yeah. how this story started. You were going like, ever had a big, like a deep knee itch? And I'm just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> what is a deep knee itch? Like, I like you can't satisfy. Yeah, you're like, it's like the bone yeah. is itchy. Like, it's so deep. And yeah. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> and then you two tried to do like some home remedy fucking cleanup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, we rubbed a bunch of that diametaceous earth. Yeah, all you over you, our you guys had like yeah, like hot fucking like laundried all your linens. You had yeah, these like special it. herbal cleans, and yep. then you come out and you're like, yeah, I'm good to go. And then <laughs> your roommate's like in there forever, and she comes out and she's like, yeah, okay, I'm good to go. And then yeah. like three days later, you still are flea ridden. Oh yeah, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> so then you do a second pass of a deep clean and that's again like you're sleeping fucking outside you're out of the house on yeah. the balconies <laughs> yeah, I'm sleeping. you can't I'm invent the, the rest get of the out of get out of here you do like the deep hot clean of all your linens all the clothes everything just in garbage bags and hot yeah. dryer and then she takes yeah. it upon herself to clean you because clearly you dropped the ball the first time. Well, I can't reach the backside. And I, well, that was right? exactly right. I remember when arms. you came out of the shower and you were just fucking glowing. You were so hot to handle. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I've never been so clean in my life. Hey, so have you clean. ever had the back of your ass cleaned? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> like That's the back crazy. of your knees clean? <laughs> just like, what kind of showers do you take? <laughs> Someone cleaning your ass in the back of your knee. Is like a yeah. ward, like writing home about. 
<laughs> fucking dying oh, laughing. So funny. But second time was a charm. You killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took a while, but we got rid of it. Yeah, and then and then uh, we actually got it again. <laughs> <laughs> about a year later and it might have been like it might have been from the bagged clothes that we that we never opened like we just had a bag yeah because you had bag garbage clothes. bags full of clothes everywhere yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah you got and like originally you thought it came from like a uh, thrift store yeah <laughs> just fucking i think i originally everything. i think i originally got it from the greyhound oh that makes from sense the greyhound bus yeah so Oof. I took the Greyhound across the country, and then it was, like, shortly after that that we were infested. <laughs> I mean, all things ground. considered, it was a pretty fun time. We had, like, a fucking camp out on the third story fire escape for a week, and listened to Van Morrison every night, and, you know, oh. like, had some good outside sex yeah. right in front of the fucking <laughs> neighbor's windows. Some yeah, fucking, better than fun. bad outside fucking, sex, am I right? Some yeah. flea sex. Yeah. 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 Ugh. Are you nibbling on my neck, or is that my flea? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either way, I'm into it. Either way. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Good thing yeah, you get the him. plague, though. That's <laughs> oh that's man, a bonus. Like, what are the odds of you get plague? I guess you could still get plague today. You can still get plague today. Yeah. 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 It's, it's rampant in there. Asia and Africa. Not rampant. Ramp- There's yeah. pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna backtrack right that- away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think that the plague attack like the way frostbite works, like it attacks your pe- appendages first? Like it would be like your limbs and your penis and anything that hangs off you off you. Do you think that they'd be the first to go? Yeah, for sure. Well, like your your fingers definitely would like turn black and gangrenous. Smell and like oh, no, I saw a bunch of photos your of noses. Penis would too. Right? Oh yeah, you'd lose the dick. Oh, your penis probably like I think that's just something that people don't talk about. It's yeah, like your penis is the first to go. YouTube dog. I think. <laughs> Your body even... does it intentionally that it's like, you're not going to need this because you're falling apart. So we're just going <laughs> to yeah. shut everything down, like all, you know, all energy I, yeah. to thrusters after that. Or is it opposite where it's like a survival thing where it's like, we're going to leave the penis intact so you can procreate real quick. Ooh, everything but the penis. Everything but the penis. Wow, just decays. Okay, let's, let's dig into this. Now, oh, yeah. do the fingers and toes get cold? Because you don't need those anymore. That sounds kind of silly. You for sure need those. Or is it just because yeah, the yeah. blood vessels are so tiny? Yeah, yeah. So and like maybe the dick is fine because you got some fucking heart. meat in there and some veins. And it's mm-hmm. like further away from your heart, right? So it's like mm-hmm. that's just also yeah. the last things that are going to go. Or the first things to go because they're the furthest away. Mm-hmm. Um, I think so I'm, your penis I'm, is pretty safe. I'm backing it up. I think the dick's fine. And like it's got a pretty, yeah. pretty yeah. thick vein down it's the middle some... of it, you know. I do. It's yeah. Like a fucking yeah. jugular vein down the middle of it. Yeah. You're good. yeah. Yeah. It's just like a rope down the middle. Yeah. Nice thick rope. <laughs> Backing that one up. I think your dick's fine. Although when I was in Iceland yeah. last year, I was doing a bunch of outdoor running, and uh, I remember one time coming home and deciding, like, okay, that's the last outdoor run, because like the dick got dick real off. fucking cold. Um, it was really cold outside and it's like you can wear mittens and gloves and like two pairs of socks but yeah you can't you can really buy things like, for your dick yeah there was yeah, nothing they could sock. do it's just yeah. like it's jogging just pants and it's just like no nope, <laughs> too cold can, uh, i have a friend who knits indoor. those or like she used to nice. knit those yeah. my roommate taught me one it's an elephant what oh like, full underwear <laughs> yeah, or just the ears? Like, is it a yeah years? The nice. instead of the ears, that's like my sack goes into that, and then my, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then my dick goes into the nose, or yeah, is it a nose? The trunk, you know. Trunk. And there's yeah. room for growth. It ties around the bottom. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, you want that? She so got if you're, it in if you're stuck for, if you're stuck I, for I, a it Halloween makes sense. costume it next year, it's cold dicks. Up Just there. wear that. Yeah, Operation Dumbo Drop. <laughs> <laughs> Just shitting everywhere. <laughs> Just like in the Middle Ages. Mm-hmm. Just like in China. Just like in, Do you yeah. think that contributed? That must have contributed. Well, oh, I the guess, shitting? Yeah, all, and China. All the both bodies. Trip, just, yeah. Or just like the, yeah, the general state of a... 
sh- like just the ruins that people lived in, right? Well, like it like sounds lack like of it was respect for your It was property. really like the rats. Like the rats yeah. might have been the problem, and then the fleas were biting on the rats and getting mm-hmm. this bacteria, which apparently would live in their stomach. And then after all the rats started to die of their own like plague, they would start biting humans and trying to feed. And mm-hmm. but like it would congest them so that they would have to like throw up before they could the, eat the flea or the rat the fleas okay so the flea would mm-hmm. bite the human and then throw up in its wound and then eat <laughs> or like suck the blood out right and yeah that's how yeah. people got sick like, that's how the transfer happened that was the handoff that's gnarly yeah just puking in it and it also came from china from china yeah, China. Some, the, some Mongolians. China. the Mongolians, man. Yeah, and traveled fuckers. through all the trade routes. Yeah, yeah. The Silk Road yeah. took it. Gangas. Fucking Silk Highway disease, apparently. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. One cool story I read was that when it, the way it came to Europe was that the Mongolians went to Kaffa, which is in which is like the Crimea Crimean Peninsula on the Black Sea, and they like mm-hmm. tried to siege the city but like the city fought back and then as like a last ditch effort they the mongolian army had brought the plague with them like not knowing but they knew that they knew something was up but so either way they would slingshot or catapult the bodies their dead bodies their dead bodies over the walls like the italians or something yeah well these people eventually it was the whoever they were the crimean kaffas but they got attacked with the dead bodies Mm -hmm. uh and then they fled the city and went to like sicily and florence and brought that with them but that was the first ever biological warfare the mongolians were like uh, smart pretty nomadic really moving all the time so i could see them like carrying the plague but not suffering the same way as when it hits a city because they're yeah. constantly mm-hmm. moving, so their rat problem can't be anywhere near as bad as London. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Like it's they like have a, like a couple of jack offs in the back that mm-hmm. got plagued or something, but yeah. it's mm-hmm. not like the entire sixty percent of them die within a year, kind of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that shit like thrives in big city, dense yeah, cities. Yeah, right? they're, and, they're oh, moving too sure. much. Yeah, but yeah. Ugh. And I mean, yeah, like, no, I was, like, I was gonna know, say, it's everyone's. Like, Everyone's heard, too, like there were so many people dying, hundreds of millions of people potentially dying, that there wasn't enough people or people willing to clean up all the bodies. So it's just like a fucking free-for-all for these rats. Right. And even other animals, like dogs in the street oh, yeah. and shit, right? Like, it wasn't just the rats. Like, obviously, it became the fleas, passed it on to everybody. Like, everybody got that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was so fascinated reading about how the plague affected culture and religion and all the changes that kind of came because of it. Like, and like totally. the first one was like when someone's on their deathbed, like the last rites was like a big deal the priest always had to do. But because yeah, of the yeah. plague and priests being little cowards, like they stopped doing it. Like right mm-hmm. away, it's like the yeah. priests were like, I'm too busy, I can't go. And then it kind of like came down like from the Vatican, like, okay, like you don't need last rites anymore to get to heaven. But it was just like, because priests didn't want to fucking go in there anymore. Yeah. And yeah. then like the next Good. one was whenever someone died, they would ring the church bells and they just had to fucking knock that off because mm-hmm. it was just ringing all day. Like there's like 600 people dying day a day in some cities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they like changed the laws and stuff. Like, okay, we don't ring the church bells anymore. Like it's so cool that like... I don't know if it's cool, but there's all these, like, social adjustments that had to happen. Ah, They're just winging it, too. Oh, yeah, that's life. Well, I got... I got source that uh, I got a source. It's my roommate. Uh, she was saying that (laughs) she she took a uh, suicide prevention course through her Mm -hmm. schooling, and Mm -hmm. she was told that, like, this was, like, a professor person telling her that it wasn't until the plague happened that the the church uh, be, made suicide a mortal sin. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, because before then people it was no big deal. It was just like yeah, you yeah. you know kill yourself to whatever. Yeah, it's not a uh, yeah. But then easy in that in that under those circumstances, people just didn't to... care. But then when yeah. the plague came around and everybody started dying and like the church's numbers mm-hmm. like fell 
and like dropped to like a point that was like oh my god like we can't sustain our religion it was like well we'll make it so you can't kill yourself like if you mm. kill yourself you don't get eternal life and all the blow jobs you go to hell no virgins you know yeah no no virgins. like if that virgins. doesn't prove that it's total fucking bullshit then it's like like, <laughs> yeah. like in the last three minutes of our conversation it's been like here's five things the church made up because it was inconvenient for them yeah. <laughs> you know to just deal with the consequences yeah. like fuck off Fuckers, fuck your yeah. religion Fuck them dead. Yeah. With the play. But, so, it's funny to say think, that. Oh. Well, I was going to say, it's funny to say that like, you're going to like this story, but, it, so, one of the the most fascinating thing that I read was, just like you're saying, by the time the plague, the, the Black Death got to uh, France in the city of Avon, where, at this time, that's where the Pope lived. Can you he say Avon in a French accent? That's where the, that's where the soap came from. Is that, yeah, that's where the soap came from. But, uh, so that's where he, like, lived, right? And it was, like, a, you know, big old city. And basically, when the plague hit, it was, like, what should we do? And he was, like, all you can do to not get the plague is just, like, pray every single day, like, four times a day, <laughs> surround yourself with, like, the good book and other holy artifacts. Like, and you won't, it won't affect you because the plague is happening because God is punishing those who have sinned. Like, that's what it was, right? But then as like time went on and like priests and doctors, but priests really got hit hard. I get, I get why they stopped doing the last rites, right? Because again, like that's, they would have to go and oh. do the last rites and they would get mm -hmm. fucking the plague and spread it around. But so when the holy people, like 60% <coughs> of them had died, this group of like fanatic Catholics called the flatulence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They... They thought, hey, like the church is doing us wrong. Like they're they're the reason. Like they're leading us uh, into darkness, kind of thing, with their stupid old traditions. Like it's not right. Like this is actually what's right. And so, like they would walk the streets. They would put hoods on with crosses, and they would walk the streets, whipping themselves in the back with like little whips, and basically to like represent how jesus got whipped for our sins all those years ago like died mm. for our sins so it was like they were taking the sin like the punishment for the sins for everybody else uh in, in, in god's favor walk in the streets and then the masses would come out all the people that were like afraid of like you know, get in the play because maybe they had sinned, they had a bad thought, looked at somebody. Like, they would all come out and hoping for, like, repentance, but then would just get, like, showered with fucking plague blood. Plague and, like, blood, yeah. The whole town <laughs> would get it. And then, like, not only that, but, like, people that were sick would be coming out into the crowd yeah. trying to get cured, right? And so, Breathing on but all these... the healthies. And then the flatulence, like, went town to town, like, just whipping themselves. And it's like, you again, the, did the complete opposite of, like, all you did was give people the plague and then take your plague to other cities and give it to them. <laughs> like, didn't fucking work. It's amazing to think, though, like, they yeah. have no concept of, like, medicine or illness or bacteria. So for all yeah. they know, they, it is just, like, a God punishment. Like, yeah, it was you just yeah, we're sure. getting sick because we live an unpure life. Mm -hmm. And some people aren't yeah. getting sick, and that's where it's like fucking bullshit. It's not like we're all sick and dying. It's like half Thanos style. Yeah. Thanos snapping his fingers. Thanos is just thinning the herd. Yeah. Yeah, and I like, heard a, I heard an interesting thing about the Pope in that era, and it was that he locked himself in his little fucking oh, yeah. Pope shack and just like and just lit and he just had fires going like a yeah. motherfucker just yeah. like heating up the place smoking it out like just yeah. trying anything to Captain purify the or air whatever right? the Pope like, does. yeah 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 purify the air just yeah. burning it that's what they thought like and it was yeah. like he got sound advice like his physician uh actually had the plague and lived through it by like every day he would cut open his so his sores his buboes is what they were called the giant Ooh. like swollen glands or uh he would just cut them open and let them bleed every day for like six weeks and then he he survived it and actually studied like dead bodies like did autopsies on people with the mm -hmm. church's permission of course, of 
But yeah, he basically went to the Pope and was just like, the only way you're going to beat this is like to not ever talk to anybody. And like you yeah. have to breathe, breathe, uh, breathe like clean air. So uh, set fires everywhere. Use frankincense and all that. Like oh, myrrh. myrrh, gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's yeah. where like the burning of the horrible incense came from in religion. Uh, yes and Maybe. no. It was also definitely just because people smell like shit, so they fucking would like go to yeah, church yeah. and we'll bathe you down, make you smell nice. That yeah. makes sense. Which could have been plague related. Who knows? No. Like I say, that plague was around forever and ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, like I mean, you got to think like it. It obviously took. I mean, it's still, it's still a thing that people deal with in certain parts of the world, I guess. But uh, like when it was in its like you know the thick of it when it was at this full climax and yeah. everyone's fucking dying from it yeah. millions midnight millions. black yeah like it's uh <laughs> like if the fleas and the rats like if they have lifespans right so like if enough time goes by and these fleas don't feed enough or or there people or there's not enough people for these fleas to feed off of then mm-hmm. they're eventually going to die out right yeah. yeah i mean and not knowing that was a big deal but like if you look back in hindsight it's like yeah it just needed to run its course and that's what yeah. ended up happening. It just sorted yeah. itself out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one one of the things shit. I read that said it was like every 20 mm-hmm. years, it would kind of come back in like mm. in a different form or whatever, right? But it was totally that. Like, Ooh, shit, like shit would die papers. off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like they used to like just shun people. Like if it was like North Korea style, like if you showed any fucking sign of the plague, you had like two hours to report it to like authorities. And then they would just fucking board you and your whole fam. Whoever lived in the house, they all boarded yeah, you into in. the same house and just left you there until you died of the plague. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. starvation. Yeah, and then they would take all your... If there was no, like, successor, they would take all the possessions and sell it and, like, pay for stuff, like cleaning up shit in the streets and plague doctors right i guess he went to a good cause but there was a bunch of uh, like females that like donated their time and health as well right like some nun type midwives i don't know i saw a thing about there's like um they weren't really nuns but they were like these women nurses i guess they're just nurses that did a lot of the like caring especially in the like 1800s like london one yeah. Like I hmm. think the plague doctor like that was mostly an Italian deal. Yeah. And like in London it was like they just made the women do it all. Just like wow. tend to the sores and the sick and they all pretty much sick. died. You're not going to be able to oh, yeah. you know be one on one and help someone and not fucking get it. You're screwed. Mm-hmm. Just like a mm-hmm. death sentence. Yeah, and like I guess yeah. too like the way like I, like we said like it you get it and we have like 10 days it's like how do you even like treat that like how do you learn from that when it's like by the time you have it you're dead like Mm -hmm. and like i i watched the thing and it was really it was kind of cool it was about like these uh different people that had actually like written stuff down about the plague like first-hand accounts of living within plague society from england and it was really like that pending dread that i didn't ever really uh think of before but it's just like you're living in a time when everyone you know is dropping dead of this mysterious disease and you have like no idea where it's coming from no idea how to stop it like it's not like isis you can't just point your finger at it right no no yeah (laughs) isis yeah it's just and the whole like it's funny like the saying like you got to avoid it like the plague is like it halfway through my research i had to laugh out loud just like yeah that's that's why they say it like if you yeah. got so anyone got the plague Get they away. were instantly shunned like lock them in their house yeah. we don't give a fuck they would paint like a big fucking cross in at like a red x on the doors to let people know not to like open the doors or go near the houses like mm-hmm. just wild that's where that that's where that ring around the rosy song comes from yeah too, yeah that era i thought that was pretty interesting yeah, apparently the ring around the rosy like talked about the the redness, the, the the butthole, the <laughs> flaming butthole. Yes, we all know what a red rosy is. But 
Yeah, super creepy, right? Like, and like I say, like just went on forever and ever and ever. And mm-hmm. one of the articles I said was just like, it's not a matter of like if it'll come back, but like when, like when? it will come back because mm-hmm. it will it mutates. So yeah, plagues come, and like oh fuck, if it came back now, and it would just wipe everything out. They know. Yeah, imagine if imagine if me and the roommate were patient zero. Yeah. <sighs> For sure. Right? Like, if that was the I start think of it. our house handled it, though, because we just kicked you all outside. You had to sleep outside. Like, yeah, right away. <laughs> yeah, we slept outside. It was no awesome. bullshit. But there was, like, there was, like, fucking 20 people living in that house with everybody and their fuck buddies and shit, right? There's, yeah. like... Yeah. Wasn't that a like time of our people. lives? Yeah. No, no wonder you almost got the plague. <laughs> no wonder you got the plague. <laughs> 20 yeah, people I almost got the house. plague. Unclean. Unclean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if there was gonna be a place that I've lived that would host the plague, it would be that house. It's oh, a hundred and fifty yeah. year old house, and it's like, yeah. you know, like it wasn't nice by any means. It wasn't totally shit, but it was like, you know, an old house with old everything. It could have been worse. I thought it was pretty it nice considering how many people live there and no how kidding, few yeah. people gave fucks. Yeah, you guys did run a pretty tight ship, though. The hey, people hey, who were like I permanent was in charge residents. around there. Yeah, I ran into some you. order. I asked you Dude, once okay, a week is... to do something. That's it. <laughs> yeah, this is unrelated to the plague. But my funniest story about that house was uh, that little short, little blonde guy. I'm not going to name names, but you know what I'm talking about. He used I to don't. live there, and then just would show up at all the parties. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he fucking pissed on a cookie tray. Yeah. Froze it, and then put it under this chick's door. Like the worst chick in the house. Yeah, right? she like, sucked. This, like, she was a. <laughs> She was Jesus. a fucking monster, really. And, she, and when you look back at it, she wasn't really that bad. She just didn't, like, party with us. Like, when you think of, like, yeah, what she do so bad? <laughs> like, at the she time, it's like, she's the fucking music worst. Way too loud. She just listened to music loud in the room. That was it. <laughs> yeah. But we all hated her. <laughs> yeah. Well, talking to her was a fucking nightmare. But, yeah, like, she yeah, was, she wasn't... A, she was. I guess she wasn't a monster. No. But that's how everyone thought of she her. She wasn't, like, that little troll kid that... Continue yeah. your prank story. He was way worse. He was way worse. The <laughs> troll kid. <laughs> yeah, dude. I remember the first night you didn't I finish the story. with my old roommate there. Like, yeah. he tried to fucking cock block me so hard. Like, we made a couch boat and we're sleeping in the living room. And then, like, you know, we're getting frisky. And then, like, four in the morning, all of a sudden, it was just like someone came and jumped in the middle of this couch boat. He's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? What are you doing? That's wild. Get out of here. Get out of here. Like, we, we, the party was so huge that we went and slept in the bathroom. Yeah. And then the party died out. And then we're like, okay, we're going to go down to the living room and make a couch boat. So we did that. We finally start getting comfortable fooling around or whatever. And then Buddy comes and breaks up the fun. It's like, you go sleep in the bathroom. Yeah. You go. You go. That Get was out that, here, uh, New Year's Eve party. <laughs> with the hey. fucking, you guys slept Don't in the be bathroom. Don't here. Yeah, what was that, New Year's? I think that was New Year's. Yeah. And we had our other friend yeah. that was so fucking hammered, he smashed all the lights in the basement. Yeah. Yeah, we did some drugs that night. That was oh, probably Oh, it was why. New Year's. Hey? It was yeah. New Year's. <laughs> what I don't remember. It was New Year's. Dude, I don't remember that at all. I remember you complaining all night. Who, me? Yeah, you were about oh, how much further. Where we were we at, going? Like, some oh, we bar just walked for the everywhere. That night. Yeah, we had to walk to our other friends, like after party, and it was yeah. like a twenty-five awesome. minute oh, walk. Yeah. But it's like negative yeah. twenty-five in Toronto on New Year's Eve. Like it was cold as fuck. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Every like eight steps. I was wearing like, a wig. there yet? Wig all night. Like, remember no. that guy who like got his face Anymore. ripped off? No, yeah, dude, in the kitchen. In the kitchen what? at that fucking yeah, after party. Yeah, he like jumped off too. the counter and he fucking hit his face on the counter and like literally just went flat, like yeah, just a, just flapped him open, flapped him open, and then yeah. no, and then he someone just got him out of there and the party kept going. Yeah, it's like <laughs> we walked, remember we walked into that. It's like we walked in and he yeah. was just like, "This is how you do it," and then he fucking like hit his face. <laughs> 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 And, and then, like, just laid there in his own blood and, like, was coherent yeah, was and talked sick. to everybody. But it was like, what the fuck is this place? You, you gotta go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a, a cool apartment. Had that, smo- had that smoking room that was in the middle of the apartment with all the glass walls. Yeah, that was a cool apartment. Oh, yeah. yeah the quarantine room. Cool apartment. 
Yeah. Back if you had the plague, the plague that's where. You, <laughs> yeah, the plague, yeah that's, that's where that is the plague. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, like crazy times, crazy time to be alive, both during the plague yeah. and Rupert House. And Rupert House, yeah, yeah, totally. And like, I don't know, it's yeah. weird when yeah, like I'm reading about it, and it's like upwards to like a hundred million people died, and it's like you're just scrolling through, and it's like holy fuck, like that's a lot of fucking people to die from. Mm-hmm. Just a simple like we just treat it with antibiotics now, like the same antibiotics. And the world population for, was like, like two hundred and fifty million. Yeah, it was not like a hundred million people died. It's like over half or a third anyway yeah crazy oh yeah it was something like after the second wave of plague kind of like came and went it took like 200 years for the earth's the world population to get back to where it was before the plague had started because like they lost like 40 percent of the world population just died of the plague that's fucking like, nuts. nuts. Like I say, if that happened today and 40% die, that'd be We're due for it. Nuts. Honestly, I'd be okay with it. Yeah. yeah. There's too many people here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's the, the problem. Them out. Because there was some pretty great stuff that came from post-plague. Like this we had is true. The Italian Renaissance. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The printing press. And that's really? like Gutenberg. Well, one of the main, like, factors in industrialization was because so many people died and then the next generation were just like a smidge wealthier so there's way less you know um poor people to do all the bullshit work yeah so it kind of forced industry to automate things well like the peasants right like it was totally just peasants left the peasants realized yeah like, yeah, they all died because they all lived in shittier fucking living conditions than the wealthy. Yeah. But then when the wealthy, like, would, like, hey, I need someone to fix my roof, it's like, well, I'll do it, but there's no one else to do it, so I'll just charge whatever money I want. And there was, like, a big, like, there was, like, a strike and stuff I read about. Like, yeah. Because then the king got involved and was just like, no, we're going to go back to, like, original wages, make everybody happy. And that worked for a while then the peasants were just like no like there's more of us than there is you like if we want to charge you 30 ducats for a fucking you know an ass wiping we're gonna do it (laughs) i want five cents an apple and that's cheap i'll pick your apples but i want five cents an apple not five cents a day anymore yeah yeah yeah. and it's just like it's held their like hand to the fire and it forced like a little bit more on the workers rights and workers respect above all yeah, and then yeah, yeah. Gutenberg was like, yeah, there's not enough people to write because back then every book was written by fucking hand, like illuminated mm-hmm. manuscripts. They were called like there was just monks, yeah, and like room full of monks that would write out a Bible by hand, like with calligraphy. And there just wasn't enough people to do that anymore, so it kind of forced, you know, in that example, like Gutenberg to invent movable type and a printing press. Yeah, and that invention pretty much changed the world. Because then it Some wasn't... people... Because before that, it was only Bibles were the only books you could get. Because it took a year to make a friggin' book. You had to write it by hand. Yeah. So... You pretty much just quoted a rancid song. Oh, yeah? So, Some people are poison. Some people are poison. They fucking yeah. are. It's called the plague. The plague. Yeah. Plague people. Yeah. Plague. Listen to the lyric. Next time you listen to that song, listen to the lyrics. You just pretty much quoted them. Dig in. Um, but yeah, so post plague was a good time to live. Plague, terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not oh, gonna yeah. argue yeah. with you. Even just to like a like a, one of the though, things like, I read was spring. like in Australia, like when they finally got the plague, because every continent except for Antarctica had cases of the plague. But when they got it, like, they decided to form their, like, public ministry of health and stuff, right? Like, so it was, like, mm. things like that, like, that we now take for granted and hate waiting in mm. lines for, like, they didn't have before the plague that came out of that, right? Like, and even cleaning up the streets of, like, there's shit-filled streets. Like, we can't yeah. live like this anymore. Can't like, this anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fooled me this twice. <laughs> yeah. Fooled <laughs> yeah. me twice. Two plagues. Okay, we gotta fucking invent toilets. We cannot we just not poo just on the floor the and throw it in the street. 
<laughs> filthy, filthy, filthy. Like one story I read too is that like when the the plague first came around in the 1300s and like they had no idea what the fuck to do that like this one priest was just like trying anything and like he would like smear like dried lavender like yeah. you know stuff <laughs> into the wounds and one of them was like fucking in dry the wounds <laughs> in the wounds and he fucking smeared dried human shit in people's wounds <laughs> With like <laughs> cloves and garlic, yeah. That it's like, and then it only got worse. Like, yeah, of course it did. Of You're plague? smearing fucking shit in the guy's wounds. <laughs> you got the fe- fecal plague. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> make That's your own new fucking plague. plague. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, and that guy died too. That dude that did that. Yeah, like, of course he did. Yeah. But they had if no. He didn't die absolutely... from the plague. He would have died from a lynching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they had like yeah. the idea to think like oh they had no idea of bacteria like they had no idea of bacteria no idea. Didn't even I remember reading like an unrelated day. article about the first doctor that like wanted to sanitize his instruments and wear gloves like a surgeon they thought he was, thought he was crazy <laughs> he's yeah. like no there's like microscopic bacteria on your hands and your your knife and that's causing infection and they're like, mm-hmm. no, there isn't. Yeah. Like, I, put, yeah, I yeah. ran it under the tap. Like, it's clean. It's yeah, sin. we throw it's it on sin. the ground first. Yeah, yeah, like, he's, like, holding the knife up. Like, that's ah, clean. Five Can second we rule. clean it in our own spit and urine? <laughs> yeah. But the, like, the first guy <laughs> was, like, almost enough. kicked out of the medical profession because he wanted to go through all these steps to, like, steam clean everything. <clears throat> and they're like, dude, oh. you're taking way too much oh. time. People, People just die dying. from surgeries. And he's like, they don't have to die. <laughs> like, it's possible to not give them infections every time you cut someone. <laughs> that was even, like I say, like one of the things that I read too is like, you know, people that dispute, like I don't want to say that the plague was a hoax because it happened, but they they talk about how like the numbers are skewed because at the height of the plague, like anybody that died was considered to be like it's like oh they're dead they found them dead in the street well it's probably the plague like just put them yeah. in the cart you know and uh-huh. and then even too like the thing i watched that said like they just would shove like whole families into homes uh mm-hmm. it wasn't so much that the people then would all die from the plague but like they would die from starvation like it was a cultural genocide i guess right like you just killed 10 people because you did locked them in a house yeah. and didn't give them food or water for four or five weeks right like yeah yeah it's like does that count as plague like i don't i would count as plague because it's like just as ignorant of not knowing that fleas cause it like they had no clue oh yeah yeah so Mm -hmm. if they just gave them some basic medical treatment like you would get here now you'd be fine well not fine but you'd probably live Apparently, though, it's, like, one of the things I read, too, is that you still, like, within being exposed to the plague, like, you have, like, two days to get your shit together. Like, yeah. You know? Like, if you don't go of... to a doctor and get a shot for the plague, then you will fucking die. <laughs> you die of, like, organ failure. So, like, once that starts, you can't, like, reverse. You can't, like, mm-hmm. jumpstart your kidneys and liver to start working. Like, after your liver dies, yeah, you know, you're, like, you're fucked. That's it. Yeah, your blood's not getting filtered. Yeah, like you, yeah. you yeah. can't reverse that. So if you yeah. go too long, like yeah, even if you got to the doctor, it's like too late. But also, like to play mm-hmm. on what you were saying, it's like this was a time where like if people got like tooth infections, they would die, right? Like the whole yeah. complete yeah. ignorance to that, like which fair enough. They would use a fucking rusty tool to drill a hole in your face. Yeah, you or just I mean? like bloodletting and stuff, right? Like they had no idea. Yeah. And it's crazy that human beings survived as long as they have with fucking some of the dumb shit they did. Yeah, try to figure it out. Yeah. Or That's like one of the, one of the things too I read was like of course like it just seems to be a reoccurring thing in history, but like the people blame the Jews for the plague. Oh, they yeah. Dude, apparently the Jews got a bad rap during this whole plague thing. Yeah. Like they were killed they, by be, the millions. By the, because... They, like, burned at the stake and all that stuff. Yeah, like, just the fucking real, got it The rough. real witch punishment. Thousands of people Dude, died. They, and... This flatulence or whatever would walk the streets screaming for the blood of the Jews. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, 
Well, because I guess the reasoning was, right, like, again, if it was all based on sin and pestilence, it was because yeah. the Jews oh, had yeah. rejected Jesus. Jesus Christ yeah. as, like, the Lord and Savior, right? Like, it adds yeah. up. We yeah. told you. We fucking told you he was him, who he said he was, yeah. so it's your fault, right? Like, could have been the yeah. other way, though. Wow. Hooray. Is that your roommate? Yeah. Is that, oh, that your God. roommate right there? Oh, my God. She's fucking... Wow. Go, Have you fed it today? Somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm going to put you out. Put Is your that what you want? Get, but... it. Get it. Come on. Give her the plague. Give her some plague. <laughs> some feline plague. Get the plague. Get out of here. Oh, oh man. No. <laughs> that cat was going nuts. Oh, man, that's that's nothing. Loves the plague. The cat loves, loves the plague. She's From just being in the topic. same room as you, she gets a reaction like that? I don't know. I get I, All the girls do that around me. Just sweat. <laughs> Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She probably needs her shit cleaned or something. But I don't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I can still, <laughs> still hear it. <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna stop. Where are you it. guys at with the plague? Should we ask an expert or? Yeah, I guess it's it's time time for to ask an yeah. expert. Yeah. What Almost. do you guys got? Um, RJ's deep in thought. RJ's deep in thought. I'm deep like, in thought. He doesn't have nothing. This is like I have nothing. Nice I'm just making something <laughs> up on the spot. Mm-hmm. Cause I did nothing. Um, well, my question, my question was gonna be, I'll let you guys think about or let you think about it like how if the plague if you were alive during those times and people were getting the plague around you but somehow you didn't contract it what would be like your next step what would you do to assure in that time try to put yourself in that time you don't know shit what would you do if to avoid it to avoid the plague i think you'd have to get out of the major cities i'd have to burn somebody at the stake for sure yeah (laughs) yeah just get out of the, get out of the get away from people. Wash your fucking hands. I don't know. I I would try and leave. Yeah. Yeah. Just go to somewhere remote. Or just be the person that like gets all the shit. Like people die, just go and steal all their shit. Yeah, that'd probably. You're be gonna me. get the fucking plague. <laughs> well, what if you're just immune? Like you know, there's always someone. I've watched enough fucking zombies. But like you didn't know, know back then. Like you're immune. saying, in those times, what would you do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What would you do? Yeah, it'd probably be a grave robber. It like, seems like a good racket really? to get into. Yeah. If you're gonna die, you might as well gonna, die rich. Yeah, I might as well get some good bread in me before I go. Yeah, some rye. You gotta think too. There's probably gonna be some a lot of uh, single women, newly single women. A couple dudes too. <coughs> a couple dudes. <coughs> a couple dudes. Would you try your hand at that, or is that too risky? Oh, well, I mean... then you're just asking for a bunch of different diseases. <laughs> yeah. Speaking, I couldn't imagine having sex yourself, with anybody during Mike, this. Like, like, we're all just rolling in shit and piss, and you want to fuck. Two thousand and like fourteen, you're with the flea bitten. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have we, did, we did. We didn't stop. Fucking, we don't have though. to go back to thirteen hundred. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> Almost killed it. the entire household. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> We don't even have to do a hypothetical. What would you do? It's like I would make my roommate sleep outside on a balcony. <laughs> yeah, I'd cast him out. Yeah, I'd Control. cast that guy for sure. <laughs> Shut him to the balcony. Yeah, That's everything jokes. in your room must be bagged in plastic, and you must sleep outside for one week. <laughs> I. It doesn't sound great, but I think so fondly about those couple weeks. <laughs> I really do. Like it was such a good time. It was the summer, at least. It was a good time to sleep outside. It was a great time to sleep outside. And you had bathroom yeah. privileges. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys think indoor cats can get the plague? Yeah, because yeah. you get it from yeah. rats and shit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's my question. To yeah, because you're not you're not keeping Is... the rats out, and the cats love rats. Cats love rats. Yeah. They literally rhyme. That's why they rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> They're so close yeah. to each other. Yeah, I just, I'm done with this cat yelling at me. Is that your ask an expert question? <laughs> that is my ask an expert. Is it, you know, would it <laughs> be you wrong? you want to give it the plague? Is it wrong to <laughs> yeah. wish the plague on my cat? 
How long have you had that cat? <laughs> like five years? Yeah. That's long yeah, enough. 20, 2013. Never shut up. Yeah. How long do cats run live? Man. <laughs> Eight years? Yeah. Five years? 2013? It's... No, I mean, how long do they live? Oh, I don't know. That's like a 30 year old cat and fucking cat yeah, years could right be, there. It She's could, like older than I like, am. They could live like 20 human years. No. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's a wow. waste of an animal. Not if they get the plague, that's for sure. Waste of meat? That's Is that where you're going good, with this? That's a good meat. <laughs> it's a good pelt waste right there. Of, waste of young meat. I was talking to some uh, of my friends today, met on some of my travels earlier this summer, and they're living in mm. Indonesia right now. Sounds pretty yeah. interesting. Lots of exotic meats yeah. in Indonesia. Like lemurs and stuff? Yeah, everything's on the table in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> like, for food? <laughs> like, it's on the table? Everything is on the table. Everything. Wow. I've seen like, Indiana they eat, Jones. They eat bugs and shit there, right? I think they eat monkey brain. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, she buy. Yeah, well. I think, like, two of the four Indiana Jones movies top in there. Yeah. Always, yeah, always eating monkey brain. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Well. What about you, RJ? Do you got a question for the experts this week? Um, I think it would go toward uh, Plague Doctor. I was pretty into the Plague Doctor idea. Yeah. The job yeah. presents itself. You're in the height of the plague. You're probably going to die anyway. Do you want to make a couple pence? I don't know what yeah, they're called money cool, back then. You get to wear a cool costume. Cool costume. You just have to go poke the body. Pretty much count. Is it alive or dead? <laughs> Yeah. One. Yeah. One. Job's done. Yeah, they didn't really do yeah. any healing, right? They just... No, no. this is nothing no. to they threw, heal. They threw garlic at you. Yeah. yeah. Threw vinegar on you. <laughs> yeah, burned your lesions. Is that a question? That's more of a statement than a question. <laughs> just like, I like the doctors. <laughs> the question is, like, would you... Uh, I guess it'd just be like, would you capitalize on the plague in some way? And you're in... We're back in the 1300s. Mike is clearly shacking up with a plague victim. Yeah. <laughs> Getting it quick and over with. Till I go, right? Till the dick rots off. But, yeah, the plague doctor, that was a good business. What are some other businesses yeah. that we could uh, create during these trying times? If like you a had a horse and a, tr- horse and a buggy, you'd be a fucking body hauler, right? Yeah, body you haul that shit around. Body yeah. hauler is a good job. We could get into the mm-hmm. tissue business. Think of all those runny noses. <sighs> yeah. And all the lesions. <laughs> Makeup, co- cosmetics. Yeah. Mm. Gotta right? look good. Cover really your good. black. Yeah, cover your <laughs> black spots. <laughs> so your family doesn't see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. just toilets. Like if you invested in toilets and maybe save the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be a good investment. It's You'd be like some the type Elon of like... Musk. A plastic sheet would also be pretty sweet. Yeah, plastic in general. Plastic in yeah. general. Just clean that yeah. bed up real quick. It's or even Dex- just like, Dex- you know when Dexter you go to like, your whole house? Yeah, you know when Dexter you go to a doctor house. and they have that like roll of paper at the end of the, the bed so they can just yeah. rip it off when you get off? That's like, you would make a killing in that industry. For sure. Like that's yeah. re- You have to reuse it. It runs out, you have to rebuy it. I've only that's been to a, a doctor in that scenario maybe two dozen times in my life yeah i've never seen the doctor pull out a new sheet of paper it's always the same no, i've i've oh, legit yeah. been in the room and like seen dirty shit on the paper and like <laughs> he's like you want to go have a seat on the bed it's like nope, <laughs> nope. you want to rip that fucking paper off first <laughs> like i've literally had that conversation in a fucking <laughs> er like nope, nope. not sitting on that I'm not sitting whatever in the someone's hell that mess. is <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't care if it's a booger or what. I'm not sitting on it. You know? I'm yeah. not that sick. Not that sick. I'll say in this chair to the <laughs> yeah. side. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to go home, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doc, I know what's wrong with me already. My dick is leaking. I don't need to sit there. <laughs> just give me the pill and let me out of here. <laughs> yeah, someone else yeah. is leaking. No thanks. Yeah. Nope. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a lot of money to be made. If the next plague comes around, we're, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll get together. That's a good way. Yeah, fuck, it's coming back. It's we're due. Yeah, yeah. there was oh, just that plague really in Madagascar due. like three years ago, four years ago. Mm-hmm. 
Well, Cyrus. Does Cyrus count? He was also yeah. from China. Cyrus was a big one. Yeah. I feel like pig flu was also from China. China, yeah. yeah. Swine. They're swine. all from China. Swine flu. Swine flu, yeah. That's what about bird flu? Was that China? Oh, for sure That from was China. definitely China. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So fuck. There's just the too fuck, many China. people living in squalor over there. Yeah. yeah. Living in squalor. Some of them villages are like. And I mean, <laughs> it's like the only culture that like is is I guess. Uh, Learn it's nothing obvious. from the it's, Mongolians. Well, it's they wear those face masks. Like yeah. they're the only culture that like where it's recognized that they do that, and they're yeah. still contracting and spreading all these. But they do that seasons. on the opposite. Yeah. I remember when I first went to college and I saw my first Chinese woman walking around the city wearing one of those masks. And I yeah. said to my buddy, I'm like, what's with this fucking weird lady in the mask? Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, oh, it's because she's sick. And it, she wears the mask so she doesn't get other people sick. And it was like, whoa, like mind blown. <laughs> wow. Like us yeah. white people just cough and sneeze all over everyone. We give yeah. no fucks. <laughs> Wipe it on your yeah. fucking like, on Yeah, your sleeve, I fucking wipe, wipe my on nose on my bus. sleeve, like everything. <laughs> but is that building our immunity to things? It might be. You know? Could it might be. be. Yeah. It might, be. might spread yeah. our shit. Like you need that. Spoonful of dirt a day, is, yeah. you know, keep the doctor away or lick a bus, mm. you know, stop. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe oh, yeah, definitely just hang it at the bus it. stop. You got scabies from it. What else can you get? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, fuck. Greyhound bus. <laughs> I feel like we're just talking in circles. <laughs> yeah. I had no, actually, that's... that reminds me, of, I had like this weird medical epiphany the other day where like, I rarely get sick. Like once mm-hmm. every four or five years. Super yeah, rare. Sick either. And yeah. I was thinking of like what it could be. And I realized like I'm a nail biter. And I wonder if that is like oh, yeah. bonus to the immune system got your dirty poo hands you, in your mouth yeah i just have yeah. poo hands in my mouth like nine times a day <laughs> <laughs> it's gross but i don't get sick yeah it could yeah. be it's fucking gross could you should be. stop that it's too late yeah i i had to stop biting my nails too you might as well my just... teeth started to get bad so <laughs> i was like yeah it's teeth or nails I'm gonna save my teeth. You just shove shit into your open wounds if you wanna. I'll just try to eat dirt more often. Work for the play. Yeah. Lay with some fucking flea ladies. See, I don't like to be touched. <laughs> I don't like touching people, and I don't like to be touched. So I feel like that's why I don't get sick. Just oh, you do you. The How Howie Mandel approach. Exactly. Not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, obviously Plus, I touch my. Gets his gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but time to fuck. <laughs> Yeah, you put on one of those fucking, like, green suits. Put your Dexter yeah, suit down. Yeah, hazmat suit. Yeah. Time to fuck. Time to fuck. That's how I yeah. do it. You don't do it like that? God, no. <laughs> no, but I should start. I should definitely start doing something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I guess that's this, uh, that's this week. Thanks yeah. for listening, everybody. This was actually uh, pretty good for... Yeah. One of the three of us that did a lot of research, I felt like we I, held a conversation. I really enjoyed this topic to this week. I thought this this was fascinating. Just fucking people getting sick and fun, sh- eh? walking around shit and piss like it's cool. It was fun. Yeah. We'll have to look up more weird diseases and shit in yeah. history. Like if you like if you are wiping your ass and you miss fire and you get a little poo on your hand you're it's instant like oh my god i got shit on my hand i gotta get this off but back then it was just like if you didn't have a clean spot on your hand it's like fuck i need more shit on me you get shit all over your legs all day every day yeah and your lips and your mouth fuck yeah yeah i think that's how they filled pillows back then with shit. Just shit. Yeah. Shit. 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 <laughs> oh like you know it was like nothing was like salmonella was definitely like the silent killer next to the plague like, oh yeah people didn't cook things oh, yeah. no oh no and so like your chickens sh- raw it would just be runny runny pillows 
Yeah. <laughs> like <a> f- <laughs> fucking water pillows. <laughs> water beds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> fills water your bed. first water bed, 1600. Fluid <laughs> <Yeah>. beds. <laughs> Next week's episode. <laughs> Next week's episode. History of the waterbed. History of the waterbed. History of the waterbed. That's a yeah. pretty good idea for a sode. Yeah. The... History of a waterbed. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I'll if start we, if we run it, if, You know what? Write it down because if we start getting low on ideas, we can come back to that one. Yeah. We'll circle yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it probably uh, follows the porn industry. I'm gonna say, just a guess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's a chicken before the egg kind of deal. Oh yeah. What was water beds? What was yeah. first? Human beings or water beds? Industry. Oh, water oh, beds or the porn industry? Oh, water bed. yeah. this, I feel like it wouldn't be fun having sex in a water bed. There'd be too much sloshing around. I think yeah, that, I, I think you make it work for you though. I think it's the same oh, thing like, when you think of like a hammock. Like, oh, that'd be fun, and then you do it, and you're like this sucks. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason we do it in beds. There's a reason you do it on the floor in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a reason we do it. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh, dear. You got 20 roommates. Yeah. There's a reason you, you do it creative. in the balcony covered in fleas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Frontline well, Fiesta, that note. thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> to our 100 or so listeners... Support yeah. Frontline Fiesta on Bandcamp. And Follow don't get us the plague. on Check them out. YouTube. Do not get the plague. We if need you. Get, you. Please <laughs> sleep outside. Be a good roommate. Yeah. And take <laughs> at least two showers. Wash behind your knees. Get it all. <laughs> <laughs> we the elusive much back knee. <laughs> get the elusive yeah. back knee. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. We love you. See ya. <laughs> We love you. We love you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week. We are Pretty Much Experts. You can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and YouTube. While you're at it, go have a look at our Facebook page. You can ask an expert any time of day or night, whatever you like. And if you're into it, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you, baby. Thanks again, everybody. Tune in next week. We are Pretty Much Experts, and we love you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>